Hello and welcome to my Motorstone Pacific Rift review for the PlayStation 3. For the purposes of this review, I shall only be comparing it directly to the original Motorstone as I feel this is the fairest way to actually justify the game. Uh, let's get into it. The controls this time around are much much improved over the original Motorstorm. They feel a lot more responsive, much tighter this time around. When you actually uh, put inputs in on the thumbsticks, the, it feels like the vehicles react immediately instead of there being a slight delay, which I personally felt there was on the original Motorstorm, and for that it benefits a hell of a lot. Uh, the physics this time, however, they're a bit hit and miss. For the most part they are rock solid and the vehicles behave exactly how you would expect them to and everything is okay. But on occasion you will be coming around a corner or something and it's really frustrating if it's the final corner on the final lap. And you will hit a tiny rock and it looks like it really wouldn't even affect the car and all of a sudden it flips over onto its roof and that's it. You're at the back of the pack and you've lost. And when that does happen it is extremely frustrating. It doesn't happen often thankfully but when it does you know about it it's terrible the tracks this time are brilliant instead of it being just desert sand mud and that's it this time you're on a tropical island hence the name and every track it has a complete unique feel the, the tracks this time are split up into actual sections you have um, earth fire air and water and the tracks are com well the, the tracks fall into those uh, four categories and that's what you actually do the races are all separated so it's one minute you're racing down a beach through jungles and stuff like that then you're on top of a volcano then you're on top of a mountain pulling massive air jumps over these gorges and it's brilliant uh, the vehicles are pretty much the same as last time the, the bodies have changed but the classes are the same you get your motorbike quad bike monster truck uh, quad, the monster truck is brand new that's the only new one uh, the racing truck the rally car and the big rig are all back and the monster truck is the newest addition which has been put in and thankfully it doesn't debalance the game at all it still works because the monster truck has upsides and downsides yes you can run over the cars but if you're going too fast around a corner you will roll it over and then you're at the middle or the back of the pack and you've got to start from scratch again so it does balance out very well the soundtrack this time is hit and miss for me it's got some really good heavy rock and metal tracks in it that I thoroughly enjoy um, the most notable one being the Slipknot track but then it has a few other techno and rap based tracks in there and for me it doesn't fit the uh, aesthetics of the game at all I think the game deserves a proper rock track instead of this techno rap stuff which I just don't know it doesn't, it doesn't suit my needs for the game at all uh, the vehicles sound great the engines sound really good all of them sound genuine as you would expect them to sound and each car sounds individual and unique which is always what you want and it, for, yeah the sound effects are just spot on really um, the sound effects for the environments are good waterfalls sound good you, when you're driving near a volcano you can hear the lava bubbling and stuff like that the ambience is very good uh, from a graphics pers perspective the tracks look stunning uh, all of the tracks have an individual and unique look um, they all can be can all can appear at different times of day which completely changes the track so one minute is midday and you can racing around you can see things fine the next minute it's sunset and when you come around a corner you've got the sun setting in the distance glaring all the view so you can't see properly and it really does add to the game a lot that and all the scenery and all the uh, have all the smoke effects depending on the track and everything looks spot on and it fits the game very well the cars look very good as well the poly count has been significantly increased from the last game the damage modeling looks as good as ever and it looks like the cars belong on the track and they don't like they've been superimposed over the top of it. it they do look like they belong there they get dirty as you would expect when you drive through the water water in the, uh, the game or the um, spray jets to cool your engine down it washes off all the dirt and you have a sparkling clean, clean car for at least a couple of seconds until you get out the other side and it, it works very well the um it adds, to the, it adds to the effect, it makes it feel a bit more real. The menu system this time is completely different. The game is split up into sections, like I say, instead of it being the original tickets like it was in Motorstorm 1, where you got one to four races per ticket. This time it's split up into those four individual genres, and then there's about, I think it's about 20 or 30 races per, per, t per area, I can't remember offhand. Um, the game is incredibly fun. Uh, I really enjoy playing it. I have an absolute blast playing it, and I'm playing it quite a lot at the moment. 
The one downside for me is the game can be brutally hard. Sometimes some of the races are so difficult you will have to retry them numerous times just to get into third place, never mind first. It's a bit inconsistent with that. Some races are really easy and some races are really hard. You never know what you're going to get until you're in the middle of the pack. The multiplayer is an absolute riot. This time it worked on a matchmaking based system instead of being the old um, go into a lobby, look through a big list of games, choose the game you want and go race. This time it's all matchmaking so you can choose either a ranked match or a casual match and it'll matchmake you with people of a similar skill level and then you'll get thrown into the race, you'll do the race, you'll come out, you'll get your awards and then you go in again like that and it works very well for what it is. This time it supports voice chat which is a good bonus, the original didn't, so this time you actually can uh, talk to your talk to your opponents as you're racing around the track, which is always nice. That that does cause obviously a bit of a slanging match every now and again, but even so, it still makes it a, a much better. Especially if you're racing with friends, it makes it a lot more fun. Um, when all said and done, though, this is a superb game. It's a very good racer. It's not as good as some of the other racers on the market right now, but compared to the original Motorstorm, it is a major step up. And if you liked the original Motorstorm, you will definitely enjoy this one, and I strongly recommend you go out and get it. Well, thanks for listening and watching, guys. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos, and I'll see you next time.